Swati Krupp, welcome to Thailand News today, the last edition of the week. And just looking out the window, a uh, wet and desolate day here in Phuket. It's been much the same for the tourism industry now for six months with little sign of any recovery. Of course, impossible without tourists coming back to the island. Meanwhile, all the action is happening in Bangkok at the moment. And that's where I should be, but here I am in Phuket, bringing you today's news. A passenger train has collided with a car, killing a woman and injuring two others at a railway crossing in Petchaburi's Khao Yai district. At last night's incident, police found the Toyota Vios crushed against beams under a bridge still under construction. A 21-year-old was found dead in the car. The 39-year-old driver and a 33-year-old passenger were okay but trapped inside the wreckage. They were finally rescued and sent to hospital. Police are investigating to determine the cause of the incident but say the crossing was unguarded. Just earlier this week, a freight train smashed into a charter bus killing 18 bus passengers and injuring another 44 at a crossing in Chichongsao, just east of Bangkok. Police have closed the Ratcha Prasong intersection and Ratchadamri Road and a few hundred metres either side of the intersection ahead of today's scheduled 5pm protest. The closure on a Friday afternoon provides the city with an additional traffic headache. Early yesterday morning, a state of emergency was enacted, giving police special powers to arrest gatherings of more than five and clear areas at their discretion. The new edict also gives authorities the power to shut down dissenting media and arrest people making comments that could affect national security. Police allowed a gathering to assemble last night after it was apparent the numbers were swelling way beyond expectations, mostly made up of school and university students that reached 15,000 plus. Meanwhile, contractors who provided PA and sound services for last night's gathering in Bangkok have been arrested. Thai lawyers for human rights report that six of the crew have been formally arrested. There will no doubt be some sort of confrontation this evening or an attempt to move the protest site. We'll keep you up to date with all the latest information at thetiger.com. Meanwhile, the Thai cabinet has met today to formally approve yesterday's state of emergency in Bangkok. After the meeting, the Thai PM told the media that a curfew banning people from leaving home at night might have to be imposed if the situation escalated. He insisted the situation did not warrant the declaration of martial law. Well, we know you've all been hanging on to find out the latest information about the special tourist visa. Are they coming? Are they not coming? Well, the latest information is that indeed some tourists might actually be arriving next Tuesday. But we'll get more excited when the plane actually arrives. After much confusion and a few apparent misunderstandings, Chinese tourists on the special tourist visa will actually arrive on October the 20th and the 26th. The announcement from the Tourism and Sports Minister was reported in the Bangkok Post. The first group is said to arrive in Bangkok. The first group of 120 tourists from Guangzhou will arrive at Bangkok's Suwanapum Airport. Another group of 120 tourists, also from Guangzhou, will arrive on October the 26th. Since the special tourist visa was enacted, not a single passenger has arrived on Thai soil as a result of applying for the new visa, which entitles applicants to 90-day stays, kick-started by a 14-day quarantine period. The 90 days can be renewed twice. Well, it's formally torrential rain outside at the moment. You might be able to hear it there in the distance. I hope the weather's a lot better for these two. Two Turkish inmates have made a slippery escape from a northern Thailand prison. Their main tool, soap. They used soap to cover the bars of their cell in the Tax Mesot district. Over time, the soap caused the metal to rust and they were able to break the cell bars. Apparently, this isn't their first cunning escape to slip away from prison. The 41 and 29 year olds were arrested on charges of entering Thailand illegally and were first incarcerated at the Nong Kai Immigration Police Prison near the Thai Lao border. 
The men escaped the prison earlier this year and were missing for 21 days. They were found and sent to a prison in Mesot. There they crafted their cunning escape. At this stage they're on the loose and police suspect they'll try and slip over the nearby Burmese border. Yes, well yes, sorry about that. Well that's all we've got for Thailand news today. It is literally uh, precipitating very heavily at the moment. I'll uh, let you see what that looks like. Don't forget there's a lot happening uh, and it will probably keep on happening tonight and into the weekend as we have this cat and mouse game between police officials and protesters. We will bring you up to date with all the activities and all the latest news at thetiger.com and you can also catch some uh, video and news information on our YouTube channel. So please subscribe to the channel. In the meantime, thank you for watching. We'll see you on Monday.